Come to the front of your mats. Separate your feet hip width distance apart. Settle yourself on your breath. Exhale, release the arms. Inhale, charging the legs, full stretch out. Look to thumbs, hands to heart. Releasing the arms down, inhaling once again. Full stretch up, spread the fingers wide, look to thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart. Releasing down, inhale once again, charging the legs, full extension up. Exhale, bowing from the waistline. Release the fingertips to the floor, fold in. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, extend out of the waistline. And exhale once again, fold, chest to thighs. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step the right foot back. Come into a long lunge. Bring the fingertips out of the side of the front foot. Charge the back leg. Lift the inner right thigh towards the sky. Scoop the tailbone in. And once again, settle yourself on your breath. Deep, full inhales, long, slow exhales. Inhale, come to the front of your mat. Come to fingertips and exhale, fold in. Inhale, second side, left foot back. Again. Inhale, charge the back leg. Lift the inside of your left thigh towards the sky. Broaden the sitting bones apart. Scoop the tailbone under. Let the low belly lift. And as you exhale, extend long through the back leg. Soften the breath. Listen to the quality of your breath. And inhaling, coming back to the front of your mat. Separate your feet and exhale, fold in. Inhale halfway, back to the first side, right leg, all the way back into a long lunge. This time take the hands to the inside of the left foot, come up to the fingertips, again charging the back legs, scissor the legs together, releasing the back knee to the earth, fold, melt from the back of your heart, release the forehead to the floor. Listen to the quality of your breath, melting, softening, releasing down. And then bringing the hands out the side of the front foot. Step back into downward facing dog. Starting with the foundations of the pose, spread the fingers evenly, ground down through the base of the knuckles, softening the elbows. And moving from the back of your heart, extend long through the arms, lift up to the sitting bones. Charge the legs. Take the inner thighs apart and up. Take the knees as wide as your ankles. So as the muscles hug in towards the pelvis, extend long through the bones. Extend the heels towards the back room. And then step forward with the right foot. Coming to the second side, release the back knee to the floor. Bring the hands to the inside of the right foot. Again, coming up to your fingertips. Scissoring the legs together, inner groins back, tailbone scoops under. And then softening, exhaling, releasing to the floor, melting from the back of your heart. Releasing the forehead all the way down to the floor. And just listen to the quality of your breath. Let it be smooth from beginning to end, all the way through the inhale, all the way through the exhale.
bring the hands out the side of the front foot and step back to downward facing dog. Again, starting from the foundations of your pose. Lift up to the sitting bones. Lift the inner edges of your shoulders up. Lift your armpits away from the floor. Then melt from the back of the heart through to the feet. Lift the sitting bones up. Charging the legs. And exhaling, extending long through the bones of your legs towards the floor. Inhale, step into the front of your mat. Separate the feet hip width distance apart. Place the feet mindfully and exhale, fold all the way in, bowing from the waistline, melting the heart to the front of your thighs. Soften the neck, soften the face. Separate the feet a little bit wider. Now Take the right hand to your left ankle. So you're isolating the left leg. Fold in, take the center of your heart towards your left leg. Take your left hand out slightly wider just for balance. And then melt all the way in. Again, just listening to your breath. Regulate your breath. So there's a smoothness to the inhale and smoothness to the exhale. Second side, left hand to right ankle, and fold towards the right leg. Keeping the legs charged here, soften the face, and then inhaling, coming back to center, and exhaling, folding back to the midline of your mat. Exhale, right leg back, drop the back knee to the floor. Take the inner groins back, scoop the tailbone under. Take the right hand slightly wider, bow forward, take the weight off the kneecap, reach around with your left hand, take hold of your right foot. Turn from the lower side of your belly, turn from the right side of your rib cage, revolve to the left as you fold the leg in towards your backside. Look over your left shoulder and then if you want to take the right elbow down to the floor to deepen the stretch. So here it's not a passive stretch, you're keeping the back leg strong, the foot pushing back into the hand and then exhaling, stepping back to downward facing dog. And then inhale, second side, right leg forward. Release the back knee to the floor. Once again, scissor the legs together by dragging the left knee forward, right heel back, inner groins move back, tailbone tucks under, bow forward to take the weight off the kneecap, and then bowing and revolving to the right, take hold of your right foot, take the left hand slightly wider, and again, keeping the resistance here, pushing the foot back into the hand, fold the foot towards your backside looking over the top shoulder and again if you want to deepen the stretch take the left elbow to the floor revolving from the lower side of the ribcage to the left side which is revolving towards the sky here and then inhale step forward coming to the front of your mat come halfway up and exhale fold in once again Hands to waistline, shoulder blades onto the back of the body. Inhale, come all the way to standing. 
Bring the hands to the sky, lift up the thumbs, and exhale. Bring the hands to rest in front of your heart. Releasing the arms down, inhale, full extension up, lift to the thumbs, exhale, all the way to the floor. Bring fingertips to the earth, fold in, inhale, halfway, exhale, take the left foot back, grounding the left heel, bring the left hand to left hip, right elbow to the top of the right thigh, charging the back leg, take the inner groins back, take the front of the left thigh back. Now extending the tailbone down towards your left heel, begin to revolve, take your left shoulder back, release the right hand to the floor. Grounding down through the back foot, the outer edge of the back foot, lift the inside of the left thigh and extend long through the left arm, palm face down. Keep the back leg strong, Keep descending through the, the front thigh. Draw energy back from the outer edge of your right knee into your right hip. Keep grounding down through the back edge of your left foot. Keep revolving the lower side of the rib cage towards the sky. Open up the pose to the sky and inhale. Coming out of it, come to warrior pose too. Extend long through the back hand and inhale. Come up, second side, revolve the back foot in, the right foot in, take the left foot out. Left elbow, top of the left thigh, right hand to right hip, inner groins back, tailbone scoops in. Lower belly firm, take the left hand to the floor on the outside of the left foot and extend long through the right arm. Revolve the left hand side of the rib cage towards the sky. Palm facing down, extend long through the fingers. With each exhale, take it longer, extend longer through the back leg and Inhale, coming out of it, come to warrior pose too. Keep the back leg strong and inhale. Spin around, take your hands back to the front of your mat, step back to downward facing dog. Again, starting from your foundation, keep the fingers evenly spread. Look at the space between your fingers. So the negative space between your fingers is even. Inner edges of the armpits rise up. The inner edges of the shoulders rise up away from the floor. Heart melts. Inhale, look forward, step the left foot forward. Right knee grounds, hands to waistline. Scissor the legs together, take the right knee, drag it forward, left heel drags back, inner groins move back, tailbone scoops under. Now inhale, lift up and exhale, revolve to the left, take the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Bring your hands into prayer position. Stack your left shoulder above your right, revolve your gaze, look to the sky. Hug the back shin in towards the midline of your mat and as you exhale revolve deeper if you want to take it deeper release the hands take the right hand to the outside of the left foot and extend your left hand towards the sky Again, keep the back shin hugging in, strong towards the midline, and inhale, come out, ground the hands, and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, second side, right foot forward, left knee grounds, hands to waistline. 
inner groins move back and apart, tailbone scoops in. So the energy here is rising from the base of the pelvis, lifting up through the spine. As the movement descends, you inhale and rise and exhale. Take the left elbow over the top of the right thigh, bring the hands into prayer position, and look over your top shoulder towards the sky. Again, hug the back shin towards the midline to keep the pose strong. And from the focal point in the pelvis, you extend out through the legs, up through the spine and revolve. And once again, if you want to take a deeper, release your left hand to the outside of the right foot. Take your right hand towards the sky. Move your chin towards your right hand. Open up the throat. Listen to the quality of your breath and inhale to come out, ground the hands, step back once again to downward facing dog. <laughs> Bending the knees, come up into the balls of the feet, lift the sitting bones up, charge the legs. And from the back of your heart, extend along through your arms, lift up through the sitting bones and release the heels towards the earth. Keep the legs strong here. Muscles rise up into the pelvis. Bones extend long towards the ground. Inhale, raise the left leg. Step the left foot all the way up between the hands. Grounding the back knee, toes tuck under, hands to waistline. And again, inner groins move back, tailbone scoops in. And once again, revolve, take the right elbow over the top of the left thigh. Bring the hands into prayer position. Again, grounding the hands towards one another. Open up the chest. And again, if you want to take it deeper, take the right arm underneath the left thigh. Take your left hand behind your back, clasp hands, and look to the sky. Inhale to come out, ground the hands, and step back downward facing dog. Again, just every time you come back to any pose, you start from the foundations. Inhale, raise the right leg, step the right foot forward. Inner groins, back and apart, tailbone scoops under. So you get the lift from the lower belly. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, revolve to the right, left elbow over the top of the right thigh, hands to prayer position, stack the right shoulder on top of the left. And again, if you want to, take the left arm underneath the right thigh, take the right arm behind the back, clasp hands, look over your right shoulder. Again, hugging the back shin towards the midline, keep it strong. And inhale to come out, grounding the hands. Step back once again, downward facing dog. Again, keep the armpits lifting away from the earth. Inner edge of the shoulders lift. And inhale, lightly jump forward. Halfway, and exhale, fold in. Inhale, arms wide, look to the thumbs, come all the way to standing. And exhale, release the hands to the heart. Exhale, fold forward, fingertips to the earth, inhale halfway, and exhale, step the feet back to all fours. Step the left knee behind the right, take the feet wide, and exhale, sit down between the feet, coming into cow face pose, Gomakasana. Take hold of the lower thigh, Take the inside of your left thigh out to the side. Stack the knees on top of one another. 
take a moment, inhale, rise up out of the waistline. And exhale, extend long, take the fingertips to the earth. And exhale, folding over the top thigh, reaching down through the sitting bones. Take the left arm up towards the sky, palm facing the back. Slide the left hand down the back of the body. Wrap the right arm behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, extend up, and exhale, fold forward. Lifting up through your heart, extending long through the spine, and inhale to come out. Switch it out, second side. Right knee behind left, and sit down between your feet. Wriggle the feet out to the sides. Stack the knees on top of one another. And again, wriggling the right hip out to the side, move the inner right thigh down and out. Take the right arm alongside the ear, take the left arm behind the back, clasp the hands, inhale, lift up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift, come out of the pose. Unwrap the legs. Bring the right heel towards the groin, extend the left leg long. Coming to Janus Sashasana. Take the left thigh, it's the right hand on the outside of your left thigh, or your left shin. Inhale, lift up, turn the inner body to the left towards your straight leg. Slide your left hand forward, come up to the fingertips. So even though this pose in the literal translation means head to knee pose, don't get caught up with looking down, trying to get your head down immediately. Just take a moment, let the breath do the work. So as you exhale, you go deeper into the pose. Take your right hand, clasp left, left wrist, left wrist. Listen to your breath. Melting from the back of your heart down, and then with a big inhale, rise up. Second side, extend the right leg long, bring the left heel back towards the groin. Take the inner thighs down, back and apart. Broaden your foundation. Turn your inner body to the right, lengthen through the spine. Place left hand on the outside of the right calf. Slide your right hand forward, come up to your fingertips. And as you exhale, bow down towards your straight leg. Again, using your breath. As you exhale, you go deeper into the pose. As you inhale, you become stronger in your foundation. Again, with your hands, take hold of your right foot. Melt from the back of your heart. Lift the armpits up, let the heart melt. And again, if you want to go deeper, take the right hand, clasp left wrist. 
And once again, melt, take the center of your heart down towards your right leg. Listening to your breath. Let it be smooth from beginning to end, both the inhale and the exhale. And then inhale, release, come back up. Come to the middle of your mat. Take your feet wide. Again, charging the legs, roll the inner thighs down, back and apart. Inhale, rise up out of the waistline. Keep the backs of the legs grounded, thighs strong, kneecaps, toes pointing towards the sky. Lengthen out of the waistline, shoulder blades remain on the back of the body. Exhale, bowing from the waistline, fold forward. Extend your arms out, take hold of your, your heels, melt from the back of your heart towards the earth. Keeping the legs strong, listen to your breath. Fix your gaze out in front of you. And inhale, rise. Gently place your hands on the back of your knees, scoop your legs up. Coming to Baddha bring the soles of the feet together. Take the inner groins down, back and apart. Bring the fingertips beside you. Again, lift up out of the waistline. Extend long through the inner edges of your thighs. Taking the heels together, knees extend towards the floor. Take hold of your feet. Inhale, rise, look forward and exhale. Begin to melt, fold over you. Your feet. Keep the shoulder blades magnetized on the back of the body. And when you're ready, inhale, come out. Sit tall. Come back to sitting along your mat, bring hands beside you, rise up and exhale, lie down on your mat. Keep the right leg strong, again knee and toes pointing towards the sky, with your hands take hold of the back of your left thigh, now charge your left thigh, push the hamstring back into your hands. Extend long through the bones of your leg. Push up through the heel of the left leg. Now take your hands, take hold of your foot, bend your leg. Bring your knee down beside the outer edge of your chest. Keep your shin vertical, right leg strong. Then inhale, rise up slightly. Bring the left foot across the body into the crook of your right elbow. Baby cradle your left shin. And again, as you exhale, melt the back of the shoulders down towards the floor. Release the left leg and extend the left leg all the way to the earth. Second side. Now with your hand, your right hand, pull the outer to edge, the back of your right hamstring out to the side. Charge the right leg, push the hamstring into your hands and extend long through the right heel. Melt the shoulders into the floor. Take hold of your right foot. Bring the right knee down beside the chest. 
shin vertical, left leg strong. And inhale, sit up. Bring the right foot across the body into the crook of the left elbow. Spread through the toes. Baby cradle the right shin. And exhaling, melting the shoulders back down towards the earth. And exhaling, releasing the right leg. Just let the body settle into the floor. Flatten the back of the left calf, bring the left shin into Varasana. Make sure the foot and the shin are actually in line. Spread the toes, so don't allow the left foot to sickle underneath the left buttock. Keep the knees close together, inhale, rise up, right leg strong, and exhale, bow forward towards the straight leg. Take the left hand to right foot, slide the right hand forward and take hold of your right foot. Again, melting from the back of your heart. Keep the spine extending long. And if you want to, you can take the right hand, clasp left wrist and again, melt with each exhale Melt the center of your heart towards the straight leg. And inhale, come out of it. Rise up. Second side, left leg straight. Bring the right shin back, flatten the right calf. And bring the right leg into Varasana. Again, making sure the foot and the shin remain in line. Spread the toes wide. Broaden the left hip out to the side. Bring the fingertips beside you. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, fold down towards the left leg. Again, bring your left hand, take hold of your left foot. And again, melting from the back of the heart. Reach around the foot, left hand takes hold of the right wrist. And fold over the straight leg. Keep the toes spread, extend long through the bones, keep the muscles strong. breath and inhale come out of it bring the right heel in towards your groin come to simple cross-legged inner groins move back and apart Roll the inner groins down, back and apart. Inhale, rise up out of the waistline. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, spin to the left. Place the right hand on the outside of the left knee. Left hand behind you. So the more height you get in your spine with the inhale, the easier it is to twist around. So as you spin to the left, Take the right side of your rib cage around. Your shoulder blades 
melting down the back of the body and inhale, come out of it. Come back to center, pause, inhale, rise up, change it across the legs, move the inner groins down, back and apart, reset the foundation, and as you exhale, spin to the right, take the right hand behind you. Again, allow the shoulder blades to nestle onto the back of the body, so melt down away from the ears, lift the center of your heart up, and spin to the right. This time as you spin to the right, take the left side of your cage around. And inhale, come out. Now taking hold of the left foot, point the left toes, keep the shin and the foot in line, ground the inner edges of your thighs so the inner groins move down, back and apart. Bring the fingertips beside you. Go into fire log pose. So with your right hand, place it on your right foot so you extend through the mound of your left big toe here. So don't allow the left foot to sickle up towards the sky. And as you exhale, you bow forward over the top of the legs. Extend your arms forward, come up to your fingertips and melt over the top of the legs. Inhale to rise out and change it across the legs. Bring the left leg underneath, take the inner groins back and apart once again. And here, it's important to keep the foot and the shin in line. So you take the ankle all the way over the top onto the left knee and extend long through the foot. Keep extending out through the mound of the right big toe. Inhale, lift out of the waistline and exhale. Fold down over the top of the legs. And once again, you can walk your hands out, stay on the fingertips. Keep the armpits lifted and the heart soft. Just using your breath, with each exhale, you melt deeper into the pose. Breathe into the hip. And when you're ready, inhale, walk the hands back and rise. Come out of the pose. Again, extend your right leg forward, fold your left leg into Varasana. Again, making sure the foot and the shin stay in line. Now bring the right knee beside you. Bring the left foot up into the crease of your left elbow. Again, extend long through the inner edge of the foot. So you pull back through the baby toe and extend long through the base of your big toe. Taking hold of the foot, it's important here to keep the foot and the shin in line. Draw the heel towards your navel and point your toes. Allow the right knee to come down to the floor. Lift the right hip up. Take hold of the right thigh and move it out to the side. Now inhale, get as much height through the spine as possible. And as you exhale, revolve to the right, left hand to right knee. Spin your right hand around, take hold of your left foot. And as you spin to the right, the left side of the rib cage is leading the way. And inhale, release. Unfold the left leg, flatten the right calf, bring the right leg into Varasana. Again, 
ground the inner edges of the thighs. Take hold of the left foot. Now draw the leg back, the knee comes back beside you and slide the left foot into the crease of the right elbow. Draw back through the baby toe side of the foot, extend long through the inner edge of the foot, through the mound of the left big toe. Bring your hand, left hand underneath your ankle, baby cradle the leg, keep extending long through the foot, bring the heel towards your navel, inhale lift up through the left side of the waistline, ground the inner edge of the left thigh. Get as much height through the spine as possible and exhale. Revolve to the left, bring the left arm behind you, take hold of the left foot. Right hand to right knee or left knee. And look over your left shoulder. One more breath. Take it deeper and inhale, come out. Come to simple cross-legged pose. Place your hands on your knees. Inhale, fix your gaze out in front of you. Rise up through the spine, extend long through the crown of the head. Let yourself settle. Let the hips be heavy. Rise up through the spine. And then keeping the left heel back towards the groin, pick the right foot up. Again, keep the foot and the shin in line. Take hold of the left foot and draw the heel all the way back towards your groin and bring the left foot up on top of the left thigh. Take hold of the right thigh in a, in a spiral, the right thigh. Now taking hold of the left foot, slide the left foot up over the right shin. Allow the inner groins to be heavy. Your foundation is strong. And from the strong foundation with the inhale, you lift up through the spine. Soften your gaze. Let your mind reside in the spaces between each breath. Baby cradle the left leg. Again, take hold of the left foot. Make sure you pull back through the baby toe side of the foot. Extend long through the inner edge of your foot, through the base of your big toe. Draw the foot and the ankle towards your navel. And bring your left foot on, on top of your right thigh. Let the knee be soft. Now taking hold of the right foot. Again, extend long through the inner edge of the foot and slide the foot on over the top of your left shin and come to Padmasana to the second side. Let your hands rest on your thighs. Once again, just soften your breath, soften your gaze. Spine rise up with each inhale. Just take a few breaths here. 
letting yourself relax into the pose and breathing be soft and when you're ready exhale and release come into a simple cross-legged pose hands beside you let your breath lift up and then bring your hands to your knees side, bring the right foot all the way up on top of the left thigh, take hold of your left foot, slide your left foot up over the top of your right shin, inhale lift through the spine and again exhaling, letting the weight of your body reach down into the floor. So the weight of your body grounds down and connects you firmly to the earth. Let your breath be full, let your spine lift up, let your heart be open. And exhaling, release. And simple cross-legged pose. Just take a moment here before bringing the left foot, slide it up over the top of your right thigh, bring it all the way up to your right hip. Take the inner groins back and apart. So in Padmasana, the narrower your knees are together, the harder the pose becomes. So at the beginning, have your knees wide and over time, you can work your knees so they actually become narrower. The pose becomes more compact. The foundation becomes stronger. Just soften your gaze out in front of you. breaths here. Just relax your jaw, relax your tongue. Feel the movement of your breath as it rises and falls through your body. And bring your hands into Samastiti. Hands to heart. Inhale, lift up. Let your chest be broad. Shoulder blades melt down the back of the body. Deep, full breathing. Let your breath begin from the very foundation of your pose. Let it rise up through your spine. Breathe into every part of your body. Let the chest expand. bowing forward, taking your fingertips to the earth, letting your heart soften towards the ground, and inhaling, bringing your hands back to your heart. And then releasing the legs. Come lie on your backs. Come to Shavasana. Let the inner thighs ground, backs of the hips ground, feet fall open. 
turn your palms to face up. Let the inner edges of your armpits lift. Let the shoulder blades slide underneath you so they become the foundation of your pose. And with each exhale, just allow your body to release into the earth. Soften your jaw, soften your tongue. The backs of your eyes become soft. With each exhale, you release any tension you're holding in your body.
Begin to lengthen your inhale. Bring your awareness fully back to your body. Fix your internal gaze on the point between your eyebrows. Become aware of every part of your body that's on the floor. Then when you're ready, slowly bend your legs. And roll to the right. And using your hand, push yourselves up to sitting. Come to a seated, simple cross legged pose. So you should feel as if your foundation is very solid. So grounding down into the earth, bring your hands to your heart, inhale, lengthen from your hips up to your armpits, let the torso rise with each inhale, keep your gaze fixed on the point between your eyebrows, let your breath and your body and your mind be smooth and soft. Let your mind reside in each space between each breath. With great love, respect and humility. Namaste.